Welcome, my peace, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peace, my peoples. So let's talk about Monique. Monique is out here in these streets letting people know what's going on with her situation. And she is talking about to boil cop, you know, Netflix. Basically, she is very disappointed with what they were offering to pay her $500,000. That is nothing. And they offer Amy Schumer, you know, $11 million, Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock, you know, about $20 million plus probably more. And so she took to the media today to speak out, to speak up, to say, hey, listen, this is a travesty. This is devastating that, you know, I was offered $500,000 to do a show on, you know, Netflix when she's an Academy Award winner, number one. She has got, she has won over maybe like 20 to 30 awards and in the slideshow you're going to see all the awards that Monique has won and she worked on so many different tv shows she um had her own show radio show um also also a book two books out there she she owns the rights to Hattie McDaniel's story and she's going to tell it too as well and on top of that there's not too many you know African-American or people with melanin in their skin that has won Academy Awards. It's about 29 to 30 on the list from now, from the beginning to now, only like 29 to 30 African-American Americans with melanin in their skin that won an Academy Award. So, you know, she is a phenomenal. She's a, com she's a comedian. She's a storyteller. She's a writer. She's an actress. She's a novelty. And for Netflix to disrespect her like that, of course, she's going to be coming out here and saying, hey, listen, people, boycott, you know, Netflix because they're doing your sister wrong. This is injustice. This is like I feel like there's some social justice, social injustice going on towards me. And she's trying to let the world know. And, you know, she's also trying to let people that want their daughters, their sons, family members that want... I want to enter Hollywood that, you know what, these are some of the struggles that you're going to have to go through. This, this is what happens to you sometimes. You can have all the awards, you can have all the credits behind your name, but you can still be dismissed and be offered $500,000 when someone on that's billed Amy Schumer, you know, she's getting $11 million. Of course, you know, she draws a crowd. Um, people say that she's more relevant, but I think Monique is more relevant. But anyways, you know, but, you know, Amy um, Schumer, she is the demographics of, you know, a white crowd and also a Jewish crowd as well. And it's like, you know, Monique is a legend. Like if you look through the slideshow and you see all the awards that Monique won, and all the TV shows she has done, she was on Def Comedy Jam, BET, um, um, talk shows for ABC. She has done a lot. And, you know, she is a legend in her own right. And this is how they treat our legends. You know, people may say, oh, Monique, be quiet. Don't say nothing. Keep your mouth closed. You know, but this is our legend. You know, this could be us. This could be our family members. And this is how they treat our legends that has put work into the system of Hollywood and has accomplished so much. And she's still being treated like she's a second class citizen and being offered $500,000. Of course, I would love $500,000. I need $500,000. And I'm sure many of you guys want $500,000. Five hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars, but if we had a resume like you know Monique. We would want more than five hundred thousand dollars. At least give me some respect. At least give Monique some respect and offer her at least you know two point five million dollars, maybe one point two million dollars, or maybe two million dollars. But five hundred thousand dollars, you know, half of that's gonna go to taxes. So. I just think it's really disrespectful and I think that we all need to support Monique and let, you know, Netflix know and let other people know that we have our legends back. People that have been out here making um, making movies, making TV shows, plays, you know, um, just out here doing the work that an actress is supposed to do and then she turns around and get egg all over her face, which is so terrible. And I know a lot of people say, you know, Monique needs to be quiet. She shouldn't say anything. You know, she is putting her feet in her own mouth or whatever. But basically, she's act actually speaking up to let other people know that you can speak up. Let your voice be heard. If you feel like you're being mistreated, you've been unjustly treated, and you're being discriminated against, stop running and stop hiding and speak up. Because you know what? She's not the only one that's going through this. 
there's plenty more people going through this. Just like when you fill out a job application, you have your degrees, you have 10, 15 years of experience and they low blow you or they don't hire you at all. You know what I mean? So it's just really like, it's a travesty to see how they treat our legends and people that put work in the industry. Because if Monique was a different color, if Monique was Jewish, if Monique was Caucasian, they would offer her more money because they don't treat their legends like that. You're not going to find a famous comedian, Academy Award um, actor, actresses that is, you know, Jewish or Caucasian that they're going to offer $500,000 to they're going to offer more money and they're going to be respectful because they're going to say oh this person is an a-lister or this person is a b-list or this person will always forever be an a-lister even though they haven't worked in 10 years or we haven't seen them in seven years but we're going to treat them with the respect because you know what they used to run these streets they used to have it and you know what we respect them and we're going to always have a platform for them to come to and be successful and get back on top but that's not happening for Monique. And yes, Monique did speak out against, you know, Lee Daniels, Ty Tyler Perry, and also Oprah Winfrey, but that was her truth. Like, if you feel like you're being dis discriminated against, you feel like, you know, you're being blackballed, you know, people run and hide. No, speak up. Let it be known. Let people let people know what you're going through because you know what? You can sleep at night when you're not hiding, when you're not, you know, living with that treatment and you didn't tell anybody and you're pretending like everything's okay Monique could very well pretend like oh I got an academy award and you know I have all these other awards and I have all this under my belt I'm fine I'm good I'm rich I'm perfect everything's good but and she could be hiding that she that she feels like she's blackballed that she feels like she's being dis discriminated against that she feels like she's being low ball bald and being disrespected but no, she's actually speaking up and she's asking for the public support. She's asking for her brothers, her sisters' support. You know, maybe people are not going to, you know, boycott, you know, Netflix. I don't even watch anything on Netflix anyways. But, you know, if we support our legends and we support our people that are out here doing the right thing and have a positive image because, you know, she she's married, she has two kids, she takes care of them, you know, she she has been to school, she has, has done a lot of things. There's so many people that speak good about Monique. Even when she was doing the reality TV shows, they brought charm school because it was like, oh, Monique was, you know, talking about, um, Tariq was saying that Monique wanted to bring some type of clarity to it to stop making these girls look so bad. So that's why, you know, she brought on Tariq Nasheed to kind of teach the girls charm and how to carry their self as well. She wanted some integrity, you know, with the um, reality TV shows, how many of us speak, how many people do that? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, she can, she can fill a house, but they're saying she can't fill a house, but she can fill a house. And also she can fill a house if she's well promoted. You know, if we have her back and we support her, because you know what, this wouldn't happen to any other nationality or culture. You know why? Because <laughs> their people will support them and have their back and be like, no, well, she's not washed up. She's not this. She's not that. She's a queen and she's our queen. And she's out here letting us know that what we might face when we enter Hollywood. And she's also, um, letting other people know that, that are not in Hollywood faces the same type of thing where they get low blow. You see Tracy Ellis, you know, that did a story recently that she's not getting paid as much as she should be on blackish as her other counterparts on the show. So a lot of people go through this because you could be working right next to somebody and they're making more money than you, but you have the more, you have more credentials, you have more experience and you have more education, but it could be your sex and it could be your race why you're not receiving the benefits that you should receive. Just like when we was watching Insecure, you know, um, the, the lady that was a lawyer on Insecure, she wasn't even getting the money that she's supposed to get when she was as a lawyer at, in a firm and she couldn't make partner and the other guy was getting more money. So this happens every day. This happens to people, but some of us don't speak out about it. Some of us don't speak about the injustice because we just take it. We feel like, oh, they gave us opportunity. Let's just be quiet. Let's not say nothing. You know, a closed mouth don't get fed. And some people may say Monique might not get fed because she's out here telling the business. She's telling the dark, dirty secrets. She's talking about, you know what? It's, it's, it's not fair. And it is not fair, especially with her resume. Her resume is impeccable. And to offer her $500,000 is disrespectful. That's disrespectful to everybody, really. I'm saying, 
and it's just like they don't even care <laughs> they don't even care but if we care the people care because netflix is only big because of us supporting them of us wanting to see different you know movies different different people different stand up um, comedians on Netflix or the shows they offer from Netflix but if we stand up and we show our support and say hey we want Monique to be on Netflix and we want her to be paid accurately and be paid correctly behind her experience her awards because you know how many people want to reach that pinnacle of getting a academy award you, you know once you get academy award it's supposed to be the the they're automatically open to the gates of you can get any role, you can do any movie, you can do any type of song or music because you got Academy Award. And she has Academy Award and she's being offered $500,000 in 2000, I mean 2018. That's a travesty and that is a shame. So anyways, that's my rant on the injustice that I feel that went out with Monique and then people saying oh be quiet Monique don't say nothing Monique why not that's what we need to do we need to start speaking up and saying things instead of taking it instead of just being happy that we, we we're getting scraps instead of being happy that somebody's acknowledging us but actually fight for what we want and what we deserve behind our you know experience behind our knowledge behind our wisdom behind our education and you know it's documented what Monique has done and the awards that she has won. And it's crazy that they would even offer her $500,000. You guys don't see something is wrong with that situation. Maybe she's not um, popular or popping to what mainstream media right now, but she still have an audience. She still have a fan base. All you got to do is promote and put it out there because she is funny. She is one of the greats and she's been doing it for years. I mean, years and to be offered $500,000 as disrespectful to the fullest. And on that note, peace out. One love to all my peeps and peoples.